This is very clearly a unit conversion question. So we are going to have to keep track of a bunch of different things. My system for this is to make a chart where I basically have all these conversions uh, halfway on the left, halfway on the right, and I'm trying to cross things out as I go. So there is a little bit of a twist here that um, a lot of people are going to fall for. It's a bit of a trap, but uh, we can start anywhere we want. Um, they, they give us the speed of a vehicle is increasing at a rate of 7.3 meters per second squared. So that's kind of our starting rate. It's got two units in it. So split them apart, 7.3 meters per second, so per second, but it's second squared, and that's going to that's gonna matter. Now, they want this rate in miles per minute squared, rounded to the nearest tenth. So um, what I would do here is I would just start with the meters to miles thing because that's kind of given to me. Now, when you put another unit into this chart, what you want to do is you want to make sure your units are canceling, so they have to be on opposite sides of that line. So in this case, even though um, uh, meters on the left on the top so far, I'm going to make sure my meters is on the right so that they cancel. So that gets me one mile here. And so I'm not canceling the number, I'm just canceling the unit, but um, it's a good way of keeping track of that I'm doing the right thing. So I'm getting close to what I want because what I want is um, miles per, where is it? Miles per minute squared. So I, I don't know that number, right? So X means uh, what? So X miles per minute squared. So the miles are going to go. But notice how I had to write the miles. It's kind of backwards because I need the miles to cancel out. I want to get rid of all my units. So uh, I got to write it kind of in reverse. But it, it doesn't bother me. This is just how the system works. Now the problem is how do I convert minutes to seconds? Well, that one's hopefully easy for you, right? Because one minute is 60 seconds. But here's the, here's the problem is that's not enough. Because we don't have seconds, we have seconds squared. We don't have minutes, we have minutes squared. And you don't have to worry about what that really means from like a physics standpoint, but you have to realize that basically seconds squared is the same as multiplying seconds by themselves twice, right? Seconds times seconds. So if what I've done right now is I'm trying to have things cancel out, but I, what I really have with the second squared is I have, I have two seconds that I have to cancel out. So I can cancel out one of them, but I've got another one left over. Same thing with the minutes. So the solution is simple. We just do the same conversion twice because I need to get rid of another seconds and another minute. So now minute cancels completely out with the minutes. Seconds cancels completely out with the seconds. And now look, everything, all the units are gone. So now I know what I, I, I'm basically done. I just need to multiply down the columns and create an equation. So on the left side, I would just get my normal calculator here. 7.3 times 60 times 60 is 26280. And I'm going to throw an equals in there. And then multiplying on the right side, I just get 1609x, right? Don't forget, something's unknown. We're solving for something. And now it's easy to do. Just divide by 1609, divide by 1609. Uh, and x is equal to divide by 1609. 16.3 B. And that's the answer. Uh, look, this is one of those things where if you fell for the trap this time, no worries, right? You, you That's a weird trap. That's not something we encounter very often on the test. Uh, but um, you can't fall for it ever again is really what it comes down to. There's, there, you're allowed one. That's why we take a practice test. That's why we see lots of different questions is it helps us not just get exposed to the topics, but to the ways that the SAT twists up those topics and does stuff that's a little unexpected to, to mess with you. But I'm telling you, you should expect this twist of the minute squared, second squared thing. They, they could easily do it again. They won't always do it. Um, and, and slightly easier version of this question will just be the chart without any of those twists. But number 22, we know it's hard. They're going to do something. So you got to be alert to that kind of thing. And if they do it again and you fall for it again, good boy, that's not good. That's not good. That's, that's, you're not learning from your mistakes. So try to remember this chart method. I do have a lesson on unit conversion. Search my channel for that to be able to learn how to do this in more detail. But uh, that method is, is very great and very reliable. But if you learn the method, but don't learn the traps associated with these questions, then you're just opening yourself up to getting it wrong, even when you feel like you're doing it right. So again, First time they fool you, 
shame on what is it? Shame on you. And then say or shame on them. I forget I'm messing up the equation, the, the thing. It's like George W. Bush did this. First mistake is their fault for getting you. Second mistake, your fault for not learning. Let's do it that way.